This video will demonstrate how to save uploaded data into XMINS Ultra Plus. The first step to this process is clicking the Add to Repository button. This will open the Repository Commander. This is used for moving your temporary data into the data repository. So on the bottom here is your temporary repository. This is the data that you'll lose if you close the program out. Um, so there's a generic group here and you can expand this down to a generic site. In this site are the two banks that I uploaded. This first site is the site that I want to transfer into my permanent repository. So before I do this I need to set up a folder system in the permanent repository. The first step to doing that is to click this icon here, create a root group. I'm going to call this the name of the company. You can call it whatever you wish, and you can also have multiple root groups. You can kind of organize this and set this up however you want. So in my root group, I'm going to click that and create a regular group. My regular group is going to be a region. So we'll call this region 1. I can have as many regions as I want. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to stick with 1. So if I click my region, I can create a site in that region. The site is the location that I've done my battery testing at. So we'll call this facility ABC. So now this is this is just the basic folder setup. Um, like I said, you can set this up however you want. For this example, we're just going to keep it like this. Um, so now I can go down to the temporary repository. Once I have this new site selected, I can go down here, select my temporary site, and now I can transfer my test bank just by dragging it up. So now my bank is in the site. I can expand this down and you'll see this is the four tier system. So we have the group, the uh, or sorry, we have the root group, the group, the site, and the bank. So if I click my bank, I can see I have my test date here. So say I go out today and I test more batteries in this specific bank. I can come back here, re-upload it. There'll be another date here that I can just drag over. If for some reason one of your test dates is incorrect, you can select the date and then click this calendar icon and make any changes necessary. So now that my date is uploaded, I can close the repository commander. Here we have that folder structure in the data repository. I can expand this down to my bank. I can double click my bank and here's all my data results. Uh, if I have multiple dates, I can go over here to this date part, click the arrow and there'll be any dates I uploaded listed.